What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So I have a lot of people always asking me uh, this question that they get a PC and they put it away for a little while, but they boot it up and they forget their password. Never fear, because Easy Computer Solutions is here. Uh, I got this large request uh, to help people out to uh, get in their computers uh, when they forgot a password. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to get into your PC without a password. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So what happens when you have a computer that you haven't used in a while and you forgot the password and you've just been putting in the password over and over and over and you believe that you remember the password, but the computer tell you no. So doing this is for personal use only. Uh, so just keep that in mind, kind of put that disclaimer out there. Uh, doing this, uh, you know, it's just for personal use only. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you gotta do. As you can see, I got a PC right here and I do not know the password. I absolutely don't know the password and uh, I have no clue of what the password is. So uh, this computer here is a Toshiba. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys a real easy step on how to, to bypass the password for personal use. Uh, and again, I'm using the Toshiba uh, satellite with Windows 7. Now, this method works for Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1. So this PC right here has optical drive for CD, uh, which I already have my CD in here. But I'm going to show you how I've done that uh, from the beginning. OK, uh, and you can also if you don't have a CD ROM, you can put this on a thumb drive. Uh, this method I'm about to show you. All right, so let me go to my PC. You're going to need another PC to do this. All right, so let's go in here. Let me show you guys this website. Uh, what you want to do is Google this, right? You can, you can Google, Google this. It's called Offline NT, okay, which is a password and registry editor. All right, so let me get it in here. Let, let y'all guys see exactly where it look. All right. So once you get in here, basically you want to scroll down and uh, you want to uh, download to a CD-ROM or a flash drive, uh, a boot disk. OK. And right here and basically read the instructions. OK. And right here it says downloads. Get it to a little closer there. You see that say downloads. And uh, right here it says uh, bootable image CD or you can put the files on the USB. A lot of computers doesn't have optical drives, so these are going to be your two right here, and these are zip files. Uh, so once you put this on a optical drive, uh, which is a boot up CD or a DVD ROM, uh, you can, and also you can put this on the USB. All right. So remember, offline NT password and registry editor, and you go to download it to a bootable CD or a USB flash drive. Again, I'm going to shut it down. All right, go ahead and shut this down. And I'm running Windows 7 um, Home on this one. So I'm going to boot this up again. And when I boot it up, I'm going to hit F2. All right, boot this up. And I'm hitting F2. All right, so I'm in the uh, utility setup here. So basically, uh, I'm going to go to boot. Again, I already have the CD already in uh, in the computer already, which I got from NT Offline. All right, and I want to boot from CD. See that? Right now, most computers have boot from hard drive or SSD, uh, and the secondary is CD to DVD, uh, and then you could go to uh, USB. That'd be your third option right there. Okay, so if you put it on a USB, you wanna kinda make this one number one. But right now, since CD is number two, I wanna make this boot up number one. All right, so basically what I wanna do, and again, once you get to this point, uh, you can change the values and uh, go from there. All right. So I want to go on and select the item. And I want to make this one number one. All right. See what I did. And again, at the bottom here, it tells you change value. So basically what I just did was uh, highlighted it and I hit F5. All right. Once I hit F5, it went to CD. Just like that. I hit F5 with the CD. And again, you can read the menu at the bottom. 
All right. And now what I want to do is I want to save it, which is F10. Now, every computer to get into the uh, utility menu is different. But uh, with the Toshiba's here, uh, you, all you got to do is press F2. All right. So I'm going to press F10. And it's going to ask me, do y'all want to save changes? Hit enter. All right. So now at this point, uh, it's going to boot up. And it's going to boot up from the CD. All right. So I just booted up from the CD. Again, what I just showed you guys here on NT Offline, I just made a bootable CD. I put it in the computer, which is the laptop. And you can see it's registry and all. I give you kind of disclaimers and all this stuff like that, right? So we're going to hit enter. All right. And once I hit enter, it's going to go ahead on and, and start initializing and start loading the program. All right. So now at this point, you see uh, one and two candidate uh, windows partition one and two. So we're going to go on and hit one, which is already highlighted one. All right. There it is. All right. Let's see. Now uh, it give you some other stuff. Just go ahead and hit Y. All right. And let it do some other stuff here. Okay. So at this point, uh, you see uh, this edit menu right at the bottom. All right. This edit menu right at the bottom. Let me be, just get a little closer here so y'all guys can see this. All right. So you see the edit menu at the bottom. And what I'm going to click is one. Okay. And uh, right at the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and hit the shift one uh, right there. All right. So we can put that in. And uh, at this point, it already have one already clicked for edit user data and password. You see that? Edit user, user data, data and password. You're going to hit enter. All right. So at this point, you have your usernames. You got administrator. You got guests. Right here, I got the uh, home group user and I got owner. Right. And at, over here on the side, as you can see, it has lock, 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 lock. All right. So uh, right now, I want to go ahead on and clear the password for the administrator. And it's giving me an error saying that uh, you cannot change this password. Try logging in with no password. Let's go back and go back up and try to see here if I put it in again. All right. All right. Let's go and click on owner. Oh, W N E R. All right. So as we went back and to check to make sure that this works, uh, the owner right here is blank, as you can see. All right. So what I just did, I just cleared the password. All right. To owner. And it says blank. All right. So that if you follow these steps, you could do this. All right. Again, let's do a quick recap so everybody can uh, do this again. All right. So basically what I just did as I went into the, the system, let it load up. I hit one for edited user data and password. All right. And then right here at the bottom, right the way they say administrator, I typed the owner name right there. All right. I typed owner and, and all I did was just type owner and let me do it again. So y'all guys can see this quick recap. All right. And again, you see, I clicked in owner and let's go to hit one for clear password and it said password clear password clear uh so at this point i'm done all right so i want to go down to quit press q to quit all right or i hit the exclamation exclamation point shift in one and i'm gonna hit q for quit all right boom and it says if you want to save save changes you're about to write this file look at that Boom. Yes. All right. Edit completed. All right. So we edit completed. Now you can do two things here. You can full shed it off or you could go it on and click in no. All right. And control alt and delete can reboot the system. Control alt delete. Reboot the system. All right. So at this point, my password should be clear. Let me go it on and let y'all guys see that my password is clear. And again, I use NT offline. All right. And oh, I forgot. I have to go back and change this again. So what I did was again, I got the boot up to the CD. So I got to change it back to uh, the hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I am going to force close this, turn it off. All right, and uh, I'm gonna turn it back on, but I'm gonna take the CD out 
and I'm gonna hit F2 as soon as I see the boot up. All right, and so I hit F2 to get back to the boot up utility. All right, and I'm gonna go back to boot up, to boot. And again, it's booting from the CD-ROM, but I wanna boot this back to the hard drive. And I'm gonna go down and highlight it, hit F6, boom, see that? So all I hit was F6 and I back up and I'm going on to hit F10 to change it, to save it. All right, F10 to save it. And now uh, right now it's doing this normal boot to Sheba. All right, and it's an easy method. If you follow these steps, again, from uh, offline NT and uh, right now I'm starting on Windows and I'm using the Toshiba, basically easy. I got the CD right there that I got off of NT uh, password, all right? And uh, right here, Easy Computer Solutions, guys, I'm your source for all kinds of tech tutorials and phone technology right here. And uh, so there it is. So it's booting up. As you saw in the beginning of the video, uh, I did not have a password at all. Um, and I'm not touching it. I want y'all guys to see this. Not touching the keyboard or anything. And uh, while it's giving me the welcome screen, I am not touching it. I'm not putting no password in. And I want y'all guys to see that I cleared out the password that I did not know. Uh, and there it is. Boom. All right. So there it is right there. Toshiba right here. I cleared out the password and I'm good to go on Windows. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this tutorial video in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.